Um, we get to play some red tunes for you um, from Coast Salish land of the Duwamish peoples, unceded and currently still federally unrecognized and without reparations. Um, and so if you would like to play real rent to the Duwamish, play real rent, play real rent, pay real rent to the Duwamish, um, you can, and also maybe you would like to do that um, with the first stewards of whatever land that you are experiencing safe passage on. We also happen to be spitting distance from the old hangout spot of the poets and professors um, blacklisted at the University of Washington in the late 1940s, refugees from the Canwell hearings um, who made boozy intellectual home at the Blue Moon Tavern. And the Blue Moon is still kicking, but in deep pandemic debt. And so if you want to kick some change their way, they have a GoFundMe. Um, we are aiming to play some tunes from both sides of the Yiddish-speaking and multilingual um, ocean uh, to answer the question potentially of what was the Red Scare responding to? Or um, we're essentially playing the lead up to the backlash and the blacklist, if you will. Um, so we have some tunes um, from uh, European struggle, and we have some tunes from Turtle Island, and we are thinking a little bit about how those tactics and those revolutionary politics have crossed both ways. Um, this first tune, many of us heard for the first time um, out the mouth of Paul Robeson, um, a dear comrade of ours in Seattle of blessed memory, Judith Kolokoff, used to many times tell a story of going to Paul Robeson concerts with her father and how the FBI would write down the license plates of every car in the parking lot of the venue. Um, Robeson had his passport revoked by the State Department in 1955 and was forced to testify in front of HUAC on uh, June 12, 1956. And um, he refused to answer any questions and instead lectured the assembled on black history and civil rights. <laughs> So basically, you shoot a potato, 
from a cannon through a wall of butter straight into the czar's mouth. Uh, and just like that. Uh, that's how the czar eats potatoes. Uh, I have one more question. How does the czar sleep at night? You fill a room full of feathers, and the room is so full you have to cram the czar in, and then you have 300 soldiers stand on guard all night and yell. Sha! 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 Just like that. That's how the czar sleeps at night. <laughs> um, we're moving from great Jewish satire of Little Nikki in Russia um, to this side of the water um, with roots in the suffrage movement and the labor movement. Um, we particularly remember the Lawrence, Massachusetts textile workers strike led entirely by women in 1912. Um, there are three women that are partially responsible for the way that we sing this song. Um, Helen Todd, Rose Schneiderman, and Mimi Farina, um, and also the Dora Wasserman Yiddish Theater um, Company in Montreal for this translation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kichen ton kele millionen, a toisen schaps oi stock. Bapus fellen mit strahlen, wenn die Sons a reis gesprungen, wa die Menschen herren singen, breut un reisen, breut un blumen. Wenn wir kommen und marschieren, Weil Männer euch kämpfen, weil Freuen sind und Brüder, man mit seinen mir gewinnen. Zwei von uns kann zwei nicht rennen, von Geburt bis Ende leben. Herz errungen euch Kerper, geht uns Bräut und geht uns Blumen. Wenn wir gehen, marschieren, Bregen mir bessere Teg, weil wo starke mir die Freien wird, aus starke euch die Welt. Und Schlaferei und Lady Gales, abends hin genießt nur einer, zählt sich mit dem Guts von Leben, bräut und Reusen, bräut und Blumen. As we go marching, marching, in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill of gray, are touched with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses. For the people hear us singing, bread and roses, bread and roses. As we go marching, marching, we battle to for men. For patriarchy hurts us all, and it has got to end. Our lives shall not be sweated from birth until life closes. Hearts starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us roses. As we go marching, marching, unnumbered women dead, go crying through our singing, 
their ancient call for bread. Small art and love and beauty, their drudging spirits knew. Yes, it is bread we fight for, but we fight for roses too. As we go marching, marching, the people hear our call. The rising of the women means the rising of us all. No more the drudge and idler than the toil where one reposes, but a sharing of life's glories, bread and roses, bread and roses. <laughs> oh. This tune comes to us from Red Diaper Baby Summer Camp. Um, and if uh, Via Zoy Lev del Kaiser is a brilliant, um, you know, satire um, from uh, Tsarist Russia, then this is um, when, you know, we figure out that there are also Kaisers here. <laughs>
have to admit. Okay, here's the admission. <laughs> Things seem pretty bad. I had nothing but a bachelor's degree and a loan from my dad. But a position was open and I had a plan. Say hello to America's new right hand man. Shit. But <laughs> all that seems distant and all that seems far from those wonderful nights at the palace of the time. Hey, hey, hey. I was shooting with dress weaver Nick Marina, the clarina, princess of the princess of the time. tune started out life as an Itali Italian labor ballad um, and then was rewritten after the war uh, to become a sort of retrospective partisan ballad. Um, so it's old country anti-authoritarian uh, into um, how we remember that today and we are also uh, indebted to the Besheva singers of Melbourne, Australia for this translation. Ciao, 
in Schatten von der schönste Mann. Twenties immigration tunes, uh, the nineteen thirties work of Langston Hughes, and um, the nineteen forties brilliant satire and musical composition of Aaron Lebedich. Um and uh, both of those men um, were caught up in the Red Scare as well. <laughs> Romania, 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 Ich 